Start again. Yes, from number one. Alfredo and Henry were the highest scorers in their tests. And also, when we use a pronoun, say that this is singular pronoun or plural. This is plural. Plural. The president of the republic gave his inaugural speech to the parliament. Singular. Singular. Some va valuable items have been stolen from uh, their cases. From yes. their case. Case. From their case. There is next. Each of my sisters asked for a reward for her hard work. Her Singular. hard work. Singular, because each of my sisters means that he is talking about every sister separately. Okay, so one sister at one time. So okay, it will be her sister, her, and that is singular. Yes. The new teacher carrying the pile of books lost her balance at the entrance of the class. At the entrance to the classroom. Is that her? Because teacher. Uh, can be used for male and female both. These boys were thoughtless and have all disgraced the name of their school. So this is correct. Correct. Yes. Yes. Both of the new pilots took Which, charge. Uh, the, 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 the number six is correct. And number seven. Both of the new pilots took charge of their plane for a passenger flight. This is plural. Abdurrahman, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Now it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Now moving to the next page, where we have. Uh, uh, the topic relative pronouns. This is page number 139 of book. Page number 139 of book. Okay. <coughs> relative pronouns. Uh, first, we will read the information that is given on the right side uh, of this page inside a box that is called remember. The definition is given in of uh, relative pronoun has been given inside. A relative pronoun does what it says. It takes an idea and relates it to uh, a person or a thing. A relative pronoun, I told you, uh, like if you remember, we have discussed this relative pronoun before, this topic, and we I told you that which pronouns are called the relative pronouns. Uh, like who, whose, when, that, which, when, where, these are relative pronouns. The pronouns which uh, pronouns which are uh, start with W, other than that, okay, that starts with T, and all others start with uh, W, okay. So they are relative pronouns. Now, uh, a relative pron pronoun is a pronoun that that links the idea with person or things. For example, when I say, uh, where is uh, where is the boy who asked me a question? me the question where is the 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 boy who asked question okay where is the boy who asked question now what is the idea here who asked the question asking question is the idea and it is this idea is being related to be, uh, sorry this idea is being related to uh, the boy the word boy because he was the one who asked the question so where is the boy who asked the question Okay, here that uh, who is linking the idea and the person. Okay, who is telling us that this idea is linked to this person. Okay, and uh, remember that we use who for the uh, for uh, the people or person and which for the thing. We will discuss them in detail over here. Now come to the top of the page. Come to the top of the page. Answer the following questions. He is going to discuss this relative pronouns now by discussing these, by solving these questions. Answer the following questions. Number one, A. What don't you, what don't you like about these two sentences? The first sentence is, I talked to your teacher. 
who told me about your unfinished homework would this be better and why the second one look at the second one like you have to choose the the better one the second sentence is the same but he has used a relative pronoun over here to link both sentences in the first part we had two sentences now we we have joined in the second part we have joined both of them the, the second part is i talked to your teacher who told me about your unfinished homework so what do you think which one is better the first one or the the second one sir second one second one why because it is it is uh, being written in a flow in a flow you don't have any break any pause between both uh, both both parts of the sentence okay and but if you look at the first one there is a full stop so there are two separate sentences which can create any ambiguity or complication so to avoid the complication and ambiguity we use uh, the relative pronouns okay as he has used over here i uh, we will see the sentence again i talked to your teacher who told me about your unfinished homework who is being used for the teacher over here and teacher is a person whenever you have a person that is being linked with the the relative pronoun we you we will use who if it is not a person and it is a thing then you will use which for example look at part b join up these two sentences to make them flow better the two sentences are i like going out with my dad he always finds me something interesting to do so what will be used over here like i like going out with my dad who always finds me something interesting to do or i like going out with my dad which always finds me something interesting to do which will be used or who will be used who why check which is used for things yes yeah we will use who over here because it we have to use it for a person dad dad is there so who is explaining or referring the person instead of thing now look at the second one number 2 now look at okay here in number 1 he told you the usage of who he said that we use it when we have the person which is being referred by it okay now he is going to talk about which in the second one and you will you will be clear after doing this part 2 number 2 now look at these now look at a different type there are two sentences this is my favorite photo it shows you the beach and the palm trees a photo is a thing right A photo is a thing so we have to use a pronoun which is used for the things instead of using the pronoun which is used for uh, the people okay this is my favorite photo who shows you the the beach and the palm but this is wrong because we have used who for uh, for for a thing and we know the rule which is used for the thing so the correct sentence will be this is my fo- favorite photo which shows you the beach and the the palm tree trees now come to the three questions fill in the three sentences fill in the gaps with the correct relative pronoun like who or which if you think that uh, it this relative pronoun will link a person then you will use who if you think that this relative pronoun will will uh, link to to a thing then you will use which okay read these three sentences write the answers and raise my uh, raise your hand okay so you will be using only uh, uh, who or which out of these two anyone out of these two yes do it quickly Yes, boys. Yes, then Ahmed Irfan. A. Yes, sir. 
I did some shopping for my next door neighbor who has been very unwell. Yes, who? <laughs> Because we have to use the relative pronoun for uh, the neighbor over here. The neighbor is a neighbor is a person, so we will use who and not which. Okay, number two. B. I can't do this homework, which is far too difficult for me. Yes, which will be used over here. Why? Because we have to use this relative pronoun for homework, and homework is not a person, rather it is a thing. So it would be I can't do this homework, which is too far, which is far too difficult for me. Okay, and C. See, I've reached the last few pages of the story. Which I find very sad. Yes, which will be used over here. Why? Because uh, the relative pronoun is being used for the story. That is not a person or people. It is a thing. So we have to use which. So in first blank, who? The second blank, which? And the third blank, which? Okay. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. Now come to question number three. Now consider. how we use who's to join up sentences first we discussed about who and which okay now we are going to talk about the third relative pronoun that is whose you will learn now about the usage of whose like where to use whose let me tell you first that remember that when you have two sentences where you find a case of possession of something you will use okay whose okay instead of which or who if the case is possession like it is showing the possession the ownership of something for example look at this sentence there are two sentences we will link these two sentences by using the the, the relative pronoun whose because these two sentences are carrying a possession case look at this i will tell you i will explain more i like going to see my friend this is first part first sentence and the second one is his computer games are better than mine so we are going to use whose over here because it is these both sentences or the context context of these both sentences carry a case of possession in it whose computer games whose computer games okay like the the the, the possession of the friend Okay, it is showing the possession of that that the uh, the computer games are the are in the possession of uh, the friend. So it could be I like going to see my friend whose computer games are better than me. Join together, they become I like going to see my friend whose computer games are better than me. I hope you understand this. You understood it. Now, yes, uh, use the possessive form of who to join these sentences. So remember that. whose is the possessive form of who okay whose is the possessive form of who now uh, there are two sentences we will use whose uh, to link both of them so and before linking uh, before using the pronoun we have to use, remove uh, the, the 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 other pronoun which is given over here for example if you look at part a there are two two sentences and we will we have to use uh, the relative pronoun whose here Okay, look at this. I met the famous writer, and the second part is his stories about dinosaurs have been bestsellers. So we will remove his first because that is another pronoun. We will remove his from here. We will use whose in the in the in between both of these sentences. So it will go like this. I met the famous writer whose stories about dinosaurs have been bestsellers. Okay, because we have a case of possession in it. Okay, now look at part B. I shall keep out of the way of my angry sister. This is the first part, and the second one is her tempers are not to be experienced. This is the second part. So, and uh, like uh, we we know that we are going to use a possessive pro relative pronoun, a relative pronoun which shows the possession of something. So it will be. like this i shall keep out of the way of any my angry sister whose tempers are not to be experienced whose see we have removed her okay and we use uh, whose okay because it is a case of possession now question number 4 the last one what's wrong with the following sentence you will 
read this sentence and tell me what is the, the what correction is required over here the sentence is i'm lucky to have so many friends which are really good to me so what do you think which so what will be used who? instead of who why so it's talking about the friends it is talking about the friends friend okay so it should be i am lucky to have so many friends who are really good to me not which because which is used for the, the people so and uh, we have the friends over here the word friends over here so it is it is people it's a person or people uh, that's why we will use uh, uh, i'm lucky to have so many yeah we will use who i'm lucky to have so many friends who are really good to me there is no case of possession in that no case of possession in this in this uh, sentence so we have to use uh, we have to use which or that uh, uh, sorry which or uh, who and we know that uh, friends is uh, a word which is used for the people so we have to use who because according to the the, the rules of english grammar if it is referring to a person uh, then you will use who if it is referring to uh, a thing you will use which okay so just these are the, the usages of these three relative pronouns who whose and which okay i hope you are clear about it. let me stop first and then we'll